All right, good morning. It's day three or day four. It's kind of confusing because Monday was kind of a iffy half day. But anyway, so uh, good morning. Right now, Brant is doing his check ride. So he's in oral right now. The plane is ready to go for him. So we're hoping that Brant knocks it out of the park. If you're just tuning in, three of us are taking an intensive week to get our commercial multi add-on. There's me, Brian Turner from Just Plain Silly, and Brant Phillips from Colton Mortgage flew down from Colorado because he couldn't find a place with a working twin for multi-instruction. He got a hotel, and because of that, we're letting him have the first check ride. The other two rides will be tomorrow. There have been some struggles uh, in this training. Trying to do this full immersion you know, get your multi in just a few days uh, does come with its challenges. So, you know, Brian and I will end up with uh, four flights. You have to come in having studied hard the materials they gave you. You can't just like look through their packet one time and then show up and expect to be able to get your check right in, in four lessons. So the key here that we've learned is really really when you're doing an intensive study is to really prepare and prepare and prepare and when you think you've prepared enough then prepare a little bit more so that's the key to any kind of intensive training a huge shout out to aviator air at grand prairie texas the instruction and the planes are outstanding if you need your multi consider coming to aviator air even from out of town get a hotel nearby knock out that rating so while Brian took calls in his mobile office, Brant finished his oral part of the check ride and went up with the examiner. To be honest, we were all concerned because Brant's check ride came the quickest and we all wanted to be as prepared as possible. But like a seasoned pro athlete, Brant nailed it at the buzzer and was the first to be a multi-rated pilot among the three of us. Uh, one check ride down, Brant just knocked his, uh, his multi-com out. Uh, it's a huge weight off our shoulders. I mean, that was going to be the difficult one because it was the soonest check ride. And uh, he kicked butt, and uh, luckily he's got his rating. All right. That's great. Okay, <laughs> okay guys. Good to see you. Congratulations. What's up? All right. Thank you, one. All right. I'm going to do, uh, as much as the cameras don't overheat or anything else, I'm going to show you just uh, what my uh, last flight before my check ride for my commercial multi-engine add-on flight. So let's go to it. <sighs> yep, you can go ahead and start. I am. I'm not waiting on you. Okay. I'll just hang on to the wing out here. I'm okay with just that. Blow off. <laughs> no sir, instructor. Grand Prairie Ground, uh, Baron 8970 Mike with Oscar at Aviator Air Ready Taxi. Baron 8970 Mike, Grand Prairie Ground, runway 18, taxi the Alpha. All right, so we'll do a mixture of best power. Here we go. I will say, I think this is the worst performance we've got. Yeah, no. Since, you since see help. how close the end of the runway was before oh, yeah. we had rotate? Oh, yeah. I was aware of it. Let's go ahead and we'll start. Let's shut down the right engine. Hey, we're going to shut down the right engine. All right, so what we're going to do here is we'll simulate an engine out by pulling the throttle back. Okay. All right. And, uh, Wait a sec. Yeah, I'm not thinking it through. Okay, let me hang on just a second. All right, so we got plenty of altitude. All oh, that's looking good. Let's slow it down. Okay, so the right engine throttle is out. Oh, we run the trail. Okay. Okay, so directional control, full ridge. I'm gonna go full props. Those are full. I checked it. Full power. And then here, here. And then identify dead leg, right leg. Here we go. I want to verify. So. Simulate, verify that. So I've confirmed, now I'm going to fix her feather. So you want to try to fix it? So we got fuel, we'll switch tanks, we'll do fuel pumps, and it still doesn't work. Okay, so let's feather it. So identify right, we're going to feather. There it goes, and that's a lot better on that. So now that we've feathered it, and it stops, I'm gonna pull my mixture back, identify right, mixture back, and in the real world, I would then uh, cut my fuel mixture and mags, okay? That was rough of a, um, not as good as yesterday. My head wasn't as in it as I was yesterday, so I gotta get my head in the game better. So, 
um, that's good good for me. Yeah. I always think it's a, sometimes a good thing. Yeah, to a bad to, 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 to have a yeah to have a bad flight. Or not, I mean, it wasn't bad, but things yeah, to clean up for was, certain yeah. before your check ride because it kind of brings your focus back in. So. Yeah, it's like, I it can't get cocky now. Right. So good? Yeah. Anything well, you want to do again? No, I just got I just got to get my head again. Yep. You uh -huh. know all the stuff to do. Yeah. There's a couple of times you just weren't back in. But. Exactly. Now it's Brian's turn for his last flight as the afternoon sun really heats things up. It was over 104 degrees, and with that, the preparations were complete, and next up would be our check rides. I'm taking the first flight next morning with Brian in the hot afternoon. He can have that. Morning of the check ride. Here we go. Now there won't be any cameras during the check ride, so you won't see any of that. Uh, the FAA doesn't allow that. So I feel ready. I'm proud of Brant yesterday for getting his check ride. And then right after mine today will be Brian Turner's. So let's get these multi-engines done. Thank you, Aviator Air, for doing this. It's been real eye-opening, the whole kind of intensive go for it in one, you know, one batch. So I think that that has a lot of advantages. Another advantage we found that kind of surprised me was doing it together with a couple of other people. And you can ride in the back on their lessons and that was a lot more valuable than I thought it would be. So if you're ever thinking about doing, getting a rating, um, do it the intensive way. I, I, I kind of like it. Let's knock it out. Let's not drag it out over weeks or whatever. So um, very cool. And uh, all right, let's go check ride. All right, Brian, you have arrived early. It's my check ride coming up. What are you doing so early? I just want to look at you through that glass window and see uh, how stressed out you are during your oral. <laughs> and also be able to, I can feed you uh, misinformation about like, he asked about this and well, make you I'm study something that's totally wrong. from the, the little uh, restaurant over here and just stick it next to so I can hear and mm. see if I can read Joe's lips. I've got those Insta mics. You could just, we could just hide one of those in there. <laughs> this is all a really bad idea, but we're going to do it, right? <laughs> When you approached me about this, I thought this was the stupidest idea ever, and I thought this was a guaranteed way to lose a bunch of money and have to take a check ride twice. I wouldn't do it any other way. But here's the caveat. I would recommend if you're gonna do this, bring a buddy, because I think I've gotten as much value out of sitting in the back seat observing you fly as I've gotten sitting at the controls. So if, if you're interested in doing this, we, I'm, I've got six hours, and we're taking our check rides this morning. I think a huge factor is when he's flying, I'm taking notes in the back seat. When I'm flying, he's taking notes in the back seat. So you're getting that repetition even though you're not actually doing it. I think if I were just to have flown this plane for six hours, I don't think I'd be ready. Mm -hmm. So that's my, that's my personal opinion, but I do feel very ready this morning. The designated pilot examiner today is Joey Johnson. Joey did my commercial check ride. He recently did Brian's commercial check ride. I've had Joey on the show, um, but just to make sure, I'm, I went ahead his, his whole brand is Snoopy, so I'm wearing his brand, hoping that pushes me in the right direction on the check ride. So we'll see. The check ride went long, but in the end, good. Wasn't a perfect flight, but I checked the boxes and got the rating. Then it was Brian's turn. Uh, you have your photos, right? Yeah, we got them. Okay. Sure. All right, Dan, you have until we land to figure out what that metal bar is that sticks down off the bottom right-hand side of the plane over here. It's a angle of attack indicator on steroids. You don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't know what it is. <laughs> hey, when does the retest take place? The I'm guessing uh, he's a multi-engine pilot. He's a multi-engine pilot. What? Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I never thought this could happen. <laughs> Brian, you hit your goal of 106. What's 106? Temperature. Oh, 106. Yeah. yeah. I think oh, my gosh, I think he was did. about 130 during the course of the test, though. I probably sweat more in the last hour than I have in the last week. How many pounds did you lose on this flight? Well, they're, they're all in the seat. <laughs> so, <laughs> the... Uh... Ew. Ew. Let's get you hydrated. Have you had anything to drink? Um, I had two beers before we took off. <laughs> That's my point, Joey Johnson. That's the uh, North Texas Fizzle Platinum membership. <laughs> Other than the usual drama, 
and comedy, Brian also passed his check ride. We could all breathe easier. Christy came to cheer us on. He got he got me good. And he wasn't anything I shouldn't have been expected, though. Like, we, we haven't been doing the engine on climb out thing. And what he did was he asked me a question. He goes, can you see that traffic over there? And he got me off my guard. And as soon as I wasn't looking, that's when he pulled it. And then, you know, normally, yes. you know, here's what he does, yeah. though. Here's what he does. The, the instructor pulls the throttle and you go, okay, I'm going to do this. He pulls it and goes, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. No, I was like, we're going to die, bro. Yeah, he we're starts dying. going, we're going to die. We're going to die. What are we going to do? And I was going to go, then take over. Everybody You're playing. Yeah, you, you got the flight controls. All right. You're all set, young man. There you are. Virtual multi-engine land pass. Thank you very much. All right, All right we'll go print it out in just a second. This is uh, my first time using this specific DPE, and uh, as a CFI, you're always trying to figure out ways that you can better your training and better it for your students. So uh, I was asking, them a asking him a bunch of questions on how I can improve my own training. Um, but Dan and Brian are both finished. Um, they kicked butt. The DPE said that they did a wonderful job, and um, they're walking out with their ratings too. All right, so what we're doing is we're understanding how CG affects the operation of the aircraft, particularly when you're on one engine, right? And, we, and certification standards were that it has to be the most rearward CG, allowable rearward CG, because that gives us the worst case scenario in, in the VMC situation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to arm wrestle, all right? And where our hands come together or where, where we meet, where our bodies meet, that's going to represent our center of gravity, all right? You are the rudder, right? Okay. All right, and I am the engine. So I'm trying to yaw you this direction. You're trying to counter me the opposite direction, mm -hmm. right? And right now we got a pretty even fight, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I move that CG in my favor, all right, in my let go in my <laughs> favor, right? Mm -hmm. Who's got the leverage now? <laughs> you big uh, that's right. Well, this is an FCG situation. Now let's move it the other way. Forward CG. Who's got the leverage? Why? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you see what I'm saying? So what we're talking about is the rudder arm, the distance between the CG and the rudder. The longer it is, the more leverage the rudder has to counter the yawing tendency of the average yaw of the engine. Right. So, and I use that quite frequently to demonstrate. People say, look, this is what's going on back I'll there. Use that too. I feel like I did a great job, by the way. Brian's in the back there. So thank you guys. Uh, Aviator Air, they've been awesome uh, getting us this multi-training for Brian and I. Don't forget our sponsors, Flying Eyes, get... 10% off using our discount code. Taking off all caps, one word. Also, market protective services, mpsprotect.com. Colton Mortgage, ColtonTakingOff.com. Clemens Insurance, ClemensInsurance.net. Z-Vision, the brightest. Taxi landing lights, and I'm using these great mounts from 67D Designs, 67D.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time on Taking Off.